Hi, my name is Julia Lerner. I like to play heart, play field hockey, and play lacrosse. One thing I don't like is having juvenile diabetes, which unfortunately I have. When I was four years old, I was diagnosed, and the doctor told me and my parents that there would be a cure within 10 years. I'm now 14, it's been 10 years, and we're still looking for a cure. Growing up with diabetes was really hard. I have to carry it in a bag around with me everywhere I go, containing extra food, shots, insulin, and extra supplies. Growing up, I couldn't go anywhere without my parents. I always had like a parent with me on sleepovers, and at parties, and when I was just hanging out with my friends. Now I have a little bit more freedom to do what I want, but I still have to carry everything around with me. I have to test my blood sugar at least 15 times every day. To test my blood sugar, I have to poke my finger with a needle and squeeze a drop of blood out. I have to do that at least 15 times a day, and it leaves my fingers a wreck. So it makes it really hard to play harp and stuff. Sometimes when I'm playing lacrosse and field hockey, I have to come off the field to test my blood sugar. I have to test my blood sugar and then adjust. Most of the time that means eating something really quickly and sometimes going back out to the field. But most of the time, if my blood sugar is too low, I have to sit on the sides and I can't do that most of the time. It's hard for me and it's hard for my teammates. Having diabetes at school is also really hard. I have to test my blood sugar every time before I take a test and I have to test my blood sugar all throughout the day and let my parents know what it is. If your blood sugar gets too high or too low, it makes it really hard to concentrate and pay attention, and so that makes it hard to learn things in school. In the 10 years I have waited for a cure, 19 other children in my town of 5,000 people have been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. We all want a cure. In 2009, we got together with our families and formed the Granville Game. Together we have raised over $30,000, but that's not enough. We need your help too. Please vote to fund the research to cure diabetes.